Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. So if you have updated your Windows 11 to the latest version of Windows 11 that is 22H2, then you have new tax manager on your operating system. Hey, in this video, we will discuss how we can use the new tax manager on Windows 11. So that's been said, let's get started. Now to access the new tax manager, simply right click on start the button, then click on tax manager option. And it will open the new tax manager here you will find all the information that are going on your windows 11 here we have our processes option performance option and other option if you want to expand this menu simply click on this icon and it will expand the menu here we have our processes option here you will find all the processes that are currently running on your windows operating system here we have performance tab here you can monitor your CPU uses, GPU uses and more. If you click on CPU, here you will find all the information about your CPU. If you click on memory option, here you find all the information about your memory. Similarly, if you click on GPU option, here you will find your GPU uses and other informations. Now if you click on apps history option, here you will find your uses history. If you click on startup apps, here you will find all the list of apps that will automatically run when you start up your system. If you want to disable or enable some of the apps, simply click on that, then click on enable or disable option. Here we have user option. Here you will find all the users and its uses. Now if you click on detail option, here you will find all the details about applications and services that are currently running on your Windows 11. Now if you click on services option, here you can see what are the services that are stopped or running. Now if you want to change some settings of your tax manager, simply click on settings option and here you will find few options to change your tax manager settings. Say for example, if you want to change the default start page, then from the drop down menu, you can select any of this option. You can also change the real time update speed from the drop down list. So these are the new features and the changes that you will get on the new tax manager if you have updated your windows 11 to the latest version 22h2 if you had not updated your windows 11 to the latest version then i already made a video on how you can update your operating system so i'll put the video link in the description box or you will get the video link in the i button so that's it for this video hope this video was helpful to you if you find this video helpful don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you next video.